Well, here we are on a cold, brusty Wellington Ooh. night. Now, climate change, the US and China are on board. Have you got it sorted? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. And what about King Charles III and Queen Camilla? You're looking forward to that? Oh, I'm fantasising about King Harry. <laughs> Whatever you do, Hayley. Now, also, too, it's our 300th episode. Come on board with us. I'm Wallace Chapman. It's time to party. Let's go. have you here. Welcome to the show, episode 300. Can you believe it? I had a round of applause for Backbenchers. That's a bit of a, wow, far out. It's a, um, I feel old. I feel old. But uh, what a privilege to bring you to the show year after year. It's our ninth year here uh, on Backbenchers. So uh, what a show. And tonight we've got a very special panel. Uh, as always, a big round of applause for Labour MP for Mount Albert, David Shearer. Thanks, Wallace. Great to be here, thank you. Good to have you on. And speaking of memories, oh. what, what, ab what about that uh, show a few years ago where you were there and some smoker set off the bloody alarm? Yeah, we did most, most of it out on the road, remember? It was most of it out on the road. <laughs> you were there. We got yes. through it. Yep. That's <laughs> one of my fondest memories of, right. of Back Benches, yeah. All right, now I understand that uh, you've done a bit of home decoration. You've got a, you've got, you've done a, you've got a new sort of um, interior decor, is that right? No. I I've heard this. Is that right? Well, is it, have we got a photo of it? <laughs> oh. So, so apparently you com you commissioned that. <laughs> Did I? Is that right? You commissioned uh, it? Actually, I didn't, to be honest here with you. Are you sure? <laughs> Another Wallace did it, actually. <laughs> uh, James Wallace, I think. Uh, James Wallace. <laughs> All right. right. Yeah. Hey, quick question two. What will be the one big issue next year, election year? Housing, without a doubt. Because Straight I think up. It's not only about housing and affordability and homelessness, but it's also about the way that it's actually going to run through and, and have huge impacts on the economy generally. So, yeah, it's going to be... All right, so it's, it's housing. Be Interesting yeah. stuff. Uh, look, a big round of applause for uh, National MP for what it up, Alistair Scott. He's on the show, Alistair. Thank you. Good to have you on the show. Good to be here. Would you have that wall hanging on in your, in your home? My wall hanging on my home? I've the, got the four walls on my home, hopefully. So would you have the angel of the wall hanging anywhere near your home? No. No? Not me, mate. No? So what MP would you have? Oh, I, the, the team. It's got to be a picture on the 300th anniversary, doesn't it? Oh, right. <laughs> hey, now, um, now you're, a, you're a winemaker, aren't you? I have a wine business, yes. And so you are neighbours with Peter Jackson? Uh, just the neighbours. So you, do you ever get together uh, and have wine with him? No, or? No, he's, uh, no. He drinks much more expensive wine than I do. Is he a good neighbour? He's, I'm sure he's a good neighbour. <laughs> you don't know much about him. <laughs> no, he's got, he's, uh, he does his own thing. Yeah, he's, right. he's a very good, big All contributor right. to the world. All right, very thing. cool. Uh, and what about you? What will be the one big issue next year for election year? Uh, it's going to be around stability and choice. You know, you can either stability choose, and choice. Cho what does that mean? Well, that means you can choose the, the re reliable guys, or you can choose the, the mixed up team. That's it, basically. All right. Yeah. Okay, I'll take that on board. Very, very good. And a big round of applause for Green MP Julianne Genta. Julianne, welcome to the show. <laughs> How are you? Great. Very, very good. All right. Your question. Your question is, uh, have you ever snorted fake coke? <laughs> no, I haven't. All right. Haven't only the real stuff. Fake coke or oh, real coke. Only no. the real stuff. No, 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 no. Uh, straight Can't up. Can't afford that. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, and... If you had to have a nude rug of an MP, who would it be? Oh, that's a really impossible question. It's not that hard, surely. No, you really don't want to see the MPs naked, do you? <laughs> Nobody does. <laughs> My, oh, uh, yeah, uh, no. No, all right. No. My partner would probably be happy with one of me. All right, okay. Uh, what will be the one big issue next year, election year? I think it's long term versus short term. I think New Zealanders Stability are really. Stability and choice, long term versus short term. David Shearer gave the only straight answer. Oh, no, well, I think housing is part of that. But it's really about do we have a government that's investing for the long term of New Zealand, unlike the current one, which is just propping things up in the short term? Oh, OK. All right. All right. That's the panel here. Hayley, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Wallace. 
what will you do with that? Because it's a piece of art, you know, it's an absolute piece, it's a, it's, it's it's a, a, it's a bona fide piece of art. It is a beauty. Well, my mum and dad are here, mum might want it for her library she's going to be doing up soon. Possibly? No, there's Mother? a, no. No, no. <laughs> she doesn't want it. Fair enough. Now, top five. Yes, the top five. I mean, the global politicians were a little bit scrappy this week. Check it out. I always thought there should be cannons at a canonisation, but Mother Teresa didn't need a gun salute when she was declared a saint, because she had pizza. Saint Teresa loved the poor, and the poor loved pizza. Who needs a real housewives when you've got Asian leaders throwing serious shade at President Obama? First, China didn't let Obama use their special red carpet stairs. Then the American minions got all up in some Chinese face and the Chinese were like, it's our country, it's our airport. Later, the Filipino president went way off script and called Obama the son of a whore. I'll just let that sink in. <laughs> no one is paying any attention to the local elections. Well, except in Rodney, where one candidate's hoarding signs keep being taken. It's fantastic to have that kind of support for the campaign. Yeah, obviously it's your supporters taking your signs. They're totally not being stolen in a creepy Colin Craig allegedly texting you about being naked sort of way. It's also not creepy in any way that Andrew Little has been immortalised as a piece of carpet art. Naked. The Labour leader laid bare in all his pectoral glory. It slightly overstates some features. I mean, the pecs, <laughs> the, the pecs and the biceps are way too big. A good sport, that Andrew Little. Or not so little, as the case may be. Hashtag not so little. The politician we have also had to imagine naked turned up at an African-American church to ask for votes. How a racist, homophobic bigot managed to get inside without being struck by lightning, I do not know. Not sure his awkward clapping worked in his favour. Yeah, nothing's more transparent than inauthentic expressions of faith. As Jim mentioned, you know, the politicians who come and they're clapping kind of off rhythm. To the choir. We don't need that. Yeah, wow, what a groove, what a groove he's got. Gosh. Hey, speaking of Donald Trump and Haley, uh, we've got to ask an African American here, and uh, I see the latest polls are kind of getting uh, uh, Clinton and Donald Trump kind of neck and neck. Haley, what, what does Ask an African American think about what's happening over there right now? Yeah, what do you think? I mean, Trump's embarrassing. Don't you think? <laughs> well, I'm not voting for him. <laughs> Would you be over there voting for Hillary Clinton? <laughs> I'm not voting for Trump. Very, very good, oh, aren't you? <laughs> Diplomatic. But what did you think of his dancing? I mean, the man's got a little bit of rhythm, right? What is with all the Trump stuff? 